If you like interesting art, especially to brighten up your yard, there's a unique spot in Volusia County you can go year round. Yes, and News 6 anchor Lisa Bell told us all about it, and when we heard why she loves it, we just had to go see it for ourselves. And you'll see why. News 6 and I's Carolina Cardona went to check it out and brought back something pretty cool. Thousands of handmade pieces is what makes Barberville Yard Art Emporium so unique. From life-size animal statues, to fountains, to colorful home decor, every single item in here is one of a kind. It's amazing! It's like a hidden gem here. Yes, it is! It's just great. I just said to Joy, we're gonna, it's probably going to be a two-trip event. If you're looking to brighten up your home, this could be your next stop for unique yard art. We're an attraction. We're in the middle of nowhere. What makes it special is, is the sense of being handmade. So. It's all different. Carlos Pendola had been in the car dealership business for 30 years. Eight years ago, he says this venture brought new meaning to his life. And now I'm doing what I really enjoy, which is playing with colors and, and painting and, and creating um, art that people enjoy. To me, it's not, a, it's not a business, it's not work, it's having fun. He brings handcrafted art from several countries, like Mexico, Indonesia and Haiti. Here you'll find countless pieces of Mexican Talavera pottery and ceramics, known for its colorful hand-painted designs. It's a very unique piece of art, and uh, it takes about a day to a person just to do the drawings on a piece. Patio furniture, statues, fountains, plant pots, wall decor, you name it. You can have your own furniture, your own mailboxes. As you could see here on my left, there's a lot of mailboxes. Mm -hmm. They're all different. A visit to this three-acre property is like going into a whole other world. Yeah, we carry 75 types of horses. Pretty much every animal you can think of can be found here. When you see all these colors, when you see all these animals, all these creations of individuals that spend a lot of time doing them, you come out with a different perception of the world. For Carlos, highlighting local talent is just as important. He can do birds, he can do faces. Our own new six anchor, Lisa Bell, found a brand new gnome to add to her vegetable garden, and she picked out the colors for it, which is something you can do here. If you prefer your decor in a different color, Carlos will make that happen. It's home decor that will make your home stand out. We bring uh, teakwood from pretty much the only place in the world you can get it from, teakwood furniture from Indonesia. Recycled cast aluminum makes up figures like mermaids, eagles, light posts, and huge suns used to hang on the wall. We look for results. I know that you go after results. We get results too. We, we look for um, unique stuff. We, we want a different. Located at the intersection of State Road 40 and U.S. Highway 17 in Pearson, Barberville Yard Art Emporium is open seven days a week. In Volusia County, I'm Carolina Cardona, News 6 at 9. So All right, cool. and here is the finished product that we saw in there. It's beautiful. This is Norman the Gnome, of course. He's mm -hmm. the star of Lisa's new book. So she says that he is made so of cute. aluminum and yes. auto paint, so he will wow. withstand the Florida weather he hanging is, out in her yard. Isn't he's he beautiful. He's beautiful. Yes. He looks like he was custom made, but I guess she found the gnome there and then just had him painted to the colors. He's to almost Norman. too nice to put in the yard. I know, that's what I was there. thinking too. It's so cold today. But there, no matter what <laughs> colors you want, they have those colorful frogs yes. or whatnot. It can go with any decor yes. outside. Yeah. Norman's holding a little frog there. He's so yeah, cute. He's I got a, a lot of ideas friend. for my yard from that. So it I gotta go cool. out there. Yeah. Something to do. Yeah. yeah. If, if my daughter's watching right now, she's probably yelling, Norman! Because she is such a fan of the book. He's a big deal. Yeah, he is certainly a big deal.